Hi there, it's Mike Farrell here with Aspen iBiz. When the weather's nice, I like to dress casual and work outside. So I've just stepped out of my home office up here in the mountains of Colorado to bring you this update. In my update for you today, I'm going to bring you a, a framework. It's called the five E's, five E's as in uh, echo, E as in echo, the five E's framework. It's a way to evaluate, understand and evaluate uh, the turmoil that's going on out there. It helps you kind of see, sense, give, get a sense of the magnitude and the drivers of the change that we're experiencing. Many are asking, uh, there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, and many are asking um, what should they be doing financially. Uh, many are wondering if uh, the uh, deleveraging is over or is there still more downside to come. So I have two things for you to consider as you uh, address those two items. The first is, as Steve Forbes likes to say, Obtaining more financial education, increasing our financial literacy, and the resulting empowerment will open our eyes uh, to new opportunities. And it, those are going to be the keys to the success of resolving this financial crisis. The second thing that I would suggest is that you uh, use this 5 E's framework as a way of understanding, uh, again, the magnitude and the drivers of the change that we're experiencing. However, before I get into that, let me just share with you uh, uh, an analogy around riptides. If um, it's summertime um, at a popular beach location, there's a lot of tourists. Uh, they don't know the ins and outs of uh, the beach and the ebbs and flows of the currents. And inevitably, somebody is out in the water, uh, gets caught in a, a riptide. They fight it. They run out of. Uh, they get exhausted, run out of energy, and ultimately drown. It's uh, not a pretty picture. However, the locals, um, they've got education. They know the ins and outs of the shoreline. They know the ebbs and flows of uh, the current. They also uh, have increased their literacy such that they know a, a riptide runs parallel to the beach, that a riptide is not very wide, and that if they were to uh, get caught in the riptide, they just remain calm, they float with it as it's uh, pulling them out to sea, but because it's not very wide, they're able to just swim in a diagonal, and ultimately, in a very short period of time, they'll be out of it be able to come back ashore and have a great day at the beach. So they will have not just survived, but they will have thrived in the sense that they've had a great day at the beach. So keep that analogy in mind as I introduce this framework in the five E's. The first is uh, energy. The days of uh, uh, cheap energy are over. While we're finding more oil, it is uh, much more expensive and difficult to find, drill, pump, store, and ultimately distribute it. So that just means that we're going to have more and more of our budgets uh, dedicated to energy. There will be less left over for other things. It's going to feel like uh, we've lowered our standard of living and, and have a lower lifestyle, but the days of cheap energy are over. Uh, the second is the uh, transfer of wealth and power from the west to the east. Currently, the United States is the largest economy in the world. However, um, by the middle of the decade, or middle of the century, about in the 2050-ish time frames, China is expected to have uh, the largest economy. So a lot of the churn and the turmoil that we're experiencing is associated with that transfer of wealth and power from the west to the east. The third area is the uh, influence of the USA's empire is, is peaking. The influence is peaking. A lot of us don't like to think that the USA has an empire. However, we have troops. Uh, on bases and deployed to over 50 percent of the countries uh, on the planet. And the cost of this deployment, as well as uh, our increasing government, uh, the cost associated with our larger and larger government and the associated services, is essentially breaking the country. And therefore, the, uh, without that financial might, uh, the influence of the U.S. empire is peaking. Number four is the uh, experiment with paper, paper money. It's running its course. When you have a banking system, based on a fractional reserve system that uh, uses uh, fiat currency and a uh, central bank that can essentially um, increase the money supply by printing uh, large amounts of money, you get all the horrors associated with runaway inflation. Uh, many people don't know this, but the uh, current Federal Reserve System is the United States' fourth attempt at a central banking system. Um, the previous three attempts did not end nicely, and it's anticipated that this fourth attempt will not end nicely either. And item number five of the five E's of the evaluation framework is that uh, the economic cycle is over. For the last 25 to 30 years, our economic cycle has been based upon credit expansion. And, and we as individuals, businesses, and, and, and uh, government agencies have consumed massive amounts. We've used that credit to consume massive amounts such that we're called a, uh, a consumer society. 
um, a consumer economic system. Well, those days are over. Um, the, uh, the credit is uh, being taken away. There's significant amount of uh, reduction in credit. Uh, there's going to be less left over for people then to uh, consume. There'll be something new and something different, but uh, the economic cycle as we know it is over. So I invite you to um, go to my blog. Um, I've got a brief write-up uh, on this uh, framework uh, and a pointer to an article where it's, uh, there's a lot more detail about the framework. Uh, and uh, keep in mind the, uh, the riptide analogy. If you feel that uh, the financial turmoil is pulling you out to sea so that you can uh, open your eyes uh, and uh, seek alternative uh, investment opportunities and essentially be able to stay calm and swim in a diagonal and get out of that riptide such that you don't just survive, but you actually thrive in the, the new economy and the new world that we're creating. Until next time, I invite you to meet me on Facebook Follow me on my blog, watch me on my YouTube channel, and join me in my ventures as I increase my financial literacy and pursue alternative wealth-creating strategies that are generating multiple streams of income. The URLs for all the sites are listed on the screen. And in closing, as always, here's to your success.